What's up, Fender Benders? And today I'm going to be reviewing the Santa Sleigh. It's an amazing set. On the box, at least. Let's go over some general information. It is set number 40499 and has 343 pieces. Now, interesting enough, I just realized this looking at the boxes of two Christmas sets that are recent, probably because it's a 40 box number. But if you notice, this is the Brickhead's Nutcracker. It has no Nutcracker symbol. It does say it there. But if you notice here, this is Santa's sleigh, and it doesn't say anywhere that it's Santa's sleigh. So, I don't know, Lego. I, I don't know what set this is now. I'm sorry, man. I don't know. Anyway, to the real review, we get a nice picture of the Santa sleigh here with the four reindeer. Some people believe that there should be eight, but I think four is perfect because it goes along with the Santa's workshop, which only had four, so this is perfect. But yeah, good picture of it showing moved. Very nice looking. I like the green stripe of box art here. Very, like, Christmassy, obviously. And I hope they keep this up with the Christmas sets. I hope they just go along with this. I think this is a perfect thing to have. I don't know if the other Christmas sets have it. We have a nice wintry background, a log cabin, some trees. It looks very nice. It's Christmassy. Right here, we do have the Santa there of his more newer model of dual molded legs. And hopefully some more. I haven't, I haven't got a new Santa yet, so I do not know. On the side, we do get some obvious box art necessary for modern Legos to this day, showing three of the reindeer and Santa. And then it's just so some features here on the back. I mean, nothing too crazy. It's nice list, that, that opening thing. And right there, show some of the gifts here. Very nice looking indeed. And the other side has nothing. All well, the bottom really does have nothing except going with the flow of the green which is on the side so it does look nice but anyway let's get this bad boy open up and see what's inside so guys you wouldn't believe what's inside it's actually lego pieces plastic bricks holy smokes i'm so surprised this part's not a shocker each reindeer being its own individual package that's not a surprise at all so that's gonna be four unique packages right there so that's going to be kind of fun. And then obviously we start with bag one and up from there. Oh no. The instruction booklet's ruined. That's so annoying. I do not like building with a bin instruction booklet. Let's show you instruction booklet that I had to build with. What is this? What is this? It, it was, ah, uh, I know you can get them online, but I like building with the book because it's easier. So yeah anyway ignoring that it's not too bad of a bend i hope it's not bend in some of the other sets that i got for christmas oh there is a sticker sheet not a surprise oh that's a lot of stickers oh. nine stickers for a 37 dollar set anyway there's two bags in this let's get that built right now uh wait no well yeah we gotta get built then let's go to our one minifigure and these guys let's go to that and let's go let's get this built. okay i'm just proud of go with santa claus probably our, definitely our best santa claus let's look at the accessory first on his hand we do get with him the nice list we were supposed to get the naughty list in a promo but then lego canceled it don't know why but they canceled it here's a nice list i mean you can you can see some of the names on there really if you get really close but Really, I, I don't care for the names. It's nice just to get the nice list. So, yeah, there's that. Cool, cool. But this Santa has a lot to offer compared to old Santa. Like, I mean, this Santa has been used for years on end. I believe this is for the Santa's Workshop one. The red bag is for sure. The only thing, it's, it's that red bag. But, yeah, we're going to go over some details over this one and then compare it with this one real quick. We have some details. The dual molded legs are quite obvious on this minifigure. It looks very nice. You can notice the candy cane and the nice back printing. I, I do have to mention this. There's no back printing on this minifigure or dual molded legs. I like the candy cane and the back printing edition. It's a very nice inclusion. Obviously, the same classic Santa hat, like always. Very nice looking with that beard and some front printing there. As you can see, there's some lines there to show. Like, Santa's fat, it would say. Kind of, I like that addition with all that stuff there, but let's just show you the face without a beard and the rest of the front detailing there. Santa without a beard, which 
is interesting looking. I mean, we obviously like this beard edition because it makes it look like Santa. But he does have a lot of bearding detail. Old looking face. And you can see the rest of that printing there. It looks very nice with his coat. But then here's the old face. Looking mighty young with like no wrinkles. Just the eyes are the old part that night with that smile but here's the rest of that printing there very simple you can see that's like really fluffy it just looks better overall this minifigure has an overall way better than the old one so it's a very nice update to have but anyway let's go to our reindeer now here are two of the reindeers i've taken off because there's two ways you can have your reindeer starting with the wild reindeer it's a simple two brick build right there and you slide it in and then boom you have yourself an unsaddled or a wild reindeer which we'll just go over some details with this reindeer real quick so nice white there white nose white and the eyes there very nice basic white detailing on it and brown body all the way around well the antlers are in a darker brown and they're rubberized so they won't break easily like i'm just messing it around with it right now and so yeah i mean obviously they'll break if you mess with them a lot but just a occasional like whack you don't have to worry about it then you have your saddled reindeers which have a nice sticker detailing right there a clip the clip on that bar over there and just simple basic detailing all along right there very nothing crazy but i mean like just to show you real quick it's a simple clip on and the instructions will show you how to clip it on like there's nothing too crazy about that and let's go to the build here now. we are with the build so first off you can see it's some basic connection up here let's start, let's start along here first and you can see there there's plenty of gold rotting and building up for the reindeer and you see it moves so you can have weird wonky angles if you want for your four reindeer in the front looks very nice from like here with the four reindeer looks good but let's get these things removed and they're simple to remove right here you just have some clips and yes it might break off there sad to say but i'll just have to put that on we'll just move these to the side so not in the way of the santa sleigh we do get a very nice sticker right up here that says santa claus and its initials very nice detailing slope curve pieces very nice indeed weirdly it, we do have gigantic sleigh like not sleigh rails or the bottom things that i've seen on the razor crest but they're on this and they move so you can have it sort of like that very slideable with it otherwise with some nice gold rotting there that you add detail with some interesting studs along here that don't really work or fit we have gold rotting all along here nice just gold pieces to add to the detail of the dominantly red set here and you'll notice it's exactly the same on this side the back here you have some sticker detailing with this license plate saying santa which is interesting some gold rotting up here and you'll see notice here that this is where all of like you put your toys and stuff Definitely up to the there. place where you obviously sit santa claus as you can see right there and also let me see if i can get it okay yes you get a very nice stickered of the world piece here like a gps that goes right there looks very good and a little secret in the set kind of like an easter egg while you're building it well this will show the easter egg very nicely for you unintentionally as you remove these pieces you'll notice that there's a present under there which i find very fun indeed and let's get that repaired for this set you would say isn't exactly you know the strongest obviously it's strong like i mean i can whack this it's not gonna break but obviously if i try to it's going to break fairly easily like here it's not it's gonna be pretty strong all together like as you can see i can pick it up easily but the last thing on the sleigh before we go up here and show you the presence more and it's little secrets is a secret compartment back here which is very fun very nice storage for a few items a pretzel and a carrot it's basically all you need to store in that set except for santa's nice list whenever you're not using santa's nice list it will easily fit in there with the other two items and slide right back in now let's show you now yes we're going to show you how to put these things in so you can see right there there are some like one by two air areas right up there and it can fit these i'll show you real quick by putting in one it it should work 
I, I've made it work. There we go. Boom, it fits perfectly. And then you can fit two up there, but the other options are these side pieces. So then, boom, you can, you, it, it works. I'm promising everyone it works. You can do that. And then you have all the space to put in your resin right there. Everything fits perfectly. And some little bit of extra space, you have some smaller presents. But otherwise, everything fits in there and no extra space. So very nice for LEGO to do that for what's included for the presents in this set. You can fit it. It's very, very nice. Probably unlike the older Santa sleigh that we had. But anyway, let's go to the overall review overall, now. Overall, I really give this set, I mean, like... Uh, I mean, a 10 out of 10 for Santa Slay. Other, like, this set is obviously, it's what you prefer. And for $35, basically, or like $40, because it's like $37, this set is worth it. If you are a person who, like, loves Christmas or collects Lego, get this set. This is the set for you. And before we go, and just before we go into details of it all, more or summary of it all i did forget to mention how to hold this set now you can do a few things and these are two options i give you to hold this set you pick up here and then allow that stuff to lift off because this set will support the reindeer the reindeer will not break off which is nice they will not break off easily but then get your hands under that reindeer and you can lift this set like that otherwise you're going to need to take one finger slide it right under here pick it up there and then you can like carry it around or right up here so i guess three options and you can do that that's what i would say how to pick up this set the best one i would personally think is this because you have the most stable and you can move around a lot better with it but yeah otherwise this set is lots of details plenty of play features putting the stuff in there the nice reindeer the secret compartment and this the easter egg present nine stickers it wasn't that bad <laughs> Nine stickers for the set, not that bad. And if you don't really have any of these reindeer, this is a great way to get, like, reindeer. If you want to say, just jokingly, this is the reindeer battle pack, super battle pack, you can go ahead with that. With our one name character, Santa Claus, if you're a Star Wars fan, you'll all know what I'm talking about. But yeah, that that's going to be it for this review. If you enjoyed this set, enjoyed this set no if you enjoyed this video but also if you enjoyed the set hit that like button below and if you're not a fan of any yet all you get is that subscribe button and while you're at it too while you're down there doing all that stuff might as well go check out the comparison video of this santa claus set this santa sleigh and the other santa sleigh um i guess it's the end of the video now bye